Welcome back to Procedural Meshes in C++ and Unreal. In the last video, we took a little look on how we can register some vertices and add them to triangle. And remember, what we wanted to do was uh, this kind of thing right here, okay? So in Unreal Engine, there is no circle kind of uh, mesh. And perfect circles does not exist in the field of computers. So like you can mimic some some kind of behavior that looks like a circle, but at the end of the day, uh, in the discrete world of programming, like in like like in finite value, you cannot print a circle on the screen. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back a little bit to what we want to do, and after this, we're gonna jump into the code and take a look to every of the steps we need to do to achieve what I'm going to uh, put in place here. So, okay. So as mentioned, a circle is uh, a kind of very interesting shapes. I am I really love circles. I think they are awesome. I think they have a lot of kind, neat property. They work so well for a lot of things, but they also have their kind of mysterious uh, properties to them and that that's what make them so intriguing for me. And then if you fall to three dimension and then you had to sphere, you have like, there's so many like, like from the pi number. It's it's such an interesting field of mathematics uh, that I could go on forever. But anyways, let's get back to what we were saying. So let's define two axes. The first one in the case of Unreal will be our Y and the third one will be uh, the Z axis. So just to show you, uh, we have the Y and we have the Z axis. And what we want to do is to actually print uh, a circle. But a circle does not exist uh, in the field of uh, computer programming. So let's define, uh, I don't know, can I make it? Uh, not sure about this one. Okay, let's. Let's assume it's uh, the the zero zero coordinate is at the center of the circle. Okay, you'll get the idea. Anyways, so a circle will be defined in our example by let's uh, let's say we want green. Okay, so will be defined by adding a bunch of uh, points and doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so I won't go around because I don't, it's kind of boring. But anyways, to register a circle, what we need to do is to define three vertex. It's, uh, can I add one vertex? So let's take a look to the first, first triangle. Okay, so we need, we know that the first one will always be zero, zero. Okay, so you will always start to zero, zero, because this is where the, the circle is like the central point will be at zero, zero. Then you want a third point, but before adding uh, another third point, we need to add this point, which basically is a radius, because, uh, or here, because it's the radius of our circle. And let's define a circle radius. So let's go with circle uh, radius. Okay, I'm just gonna say R, which is 100. So the way you want to to process this, uh, you cannot go into Cartesian. Uh, Carti Cartesian is, is mostly like x and y. In our case, it's y and z. But you can't. Uh, y you could eventually, but that would be a pain in the neck. So. Uh, there's a very cool thing in the field of, of programming and mathematics that is called polar coordinates. Uh, because our circle have a radius, we can start to see also that the circle have an angle here that we're going to call theta. Okay. So what I will want to do is to basically every time that... Um, so let's say I have the point zero, zero, which is the center of the circle... I could go on the y-axis, that will actually be uh, radius 0. But then the next point, I want the, um, I want my third vertex, vertices, which is, oops, let me switch back to green. I want this one, which is vertex 3, to be actually 
following the circle. You get the idea. And to do this, you could eventually just art code all hex and y value, but that would be like such an inefficient way to program it. But because we have an angle and a radius, we can uh, take a look to this thing called polar coordinate, which a point will actually be defined by a radius and an angle, and you can proceed these points uh, to actually do something like this. Let me just show you the final result, okay? So, oops, uh, okay, let's switch. Okay, so here is um, what we have, and this is what we will we will go through. So, because we start at zero, zero, we increment, and so on, and so on, we punch points around the circle. But uh, the, the the vertex we had are defined by how much the angle change every step. Let me get back to this, okay? So, right, right now, we have a theta, which is the angle. So, we pass it a radius, and we can have this point. And on the next step, we could actually double the theta. So theta times 2, okay? And what we will have is to actually take this theta and double it and do the same kind of magic we're going to go in a minute and have the next point so we could regis register another vertex on the circle and go on and go on and go on forever, okay? Or basically until we are uh, happy. So here would be theta, tree, or tree theta, sorry. If you, okay. Or that would be here, 4, or theta 4, okay? So you get the idea. Basically, every step we go on the theta, we pass it the same radius, but it punch a different vertex. And eventually, if we shrink down this theta so small, it's going to give the illusion uh, to the viewer that we actually deal with uh, with a finite circle. It's not a finite circle, but anyways. Like, it's, it's a circle on the screen. So right now, if I'm opening the code, I've basically just defined a constant, which is 2 pi, which is uh, the radius of a circle uh, in radians. Uh, if you're not good with radians and deg degrees, basically just assume that, okay, let's... Uh, normally, you deal with degrees, but normally, like, if you say you have, uh, a, like, this angle, okay, um... So if we map around a circle, this will be, oops, that, that, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so you would have in degrees, but what we want is the opening of the circle, which is the radians. And uh, we have a step around the circle, which basically means how many steps we want to uh, register a vertices around the circle. So... Um, I've said eight. If we go back to Unreal, we will see that we actually have one step, two step, three step, four step, five, six, seven, and then eight step, which is uh, pretty much what what we are doing. So we say, okay, here is the theta we look at, add another theta, and do it for eight step. And eventually, because we are mapping it around a constant value that is the, uh, the two pi divided by, you see here what I do? I define an angle. I see two pi, and I define and I divide it by step around the circle. But if I increase this one, let's say to one hundred, okay. But before increment is this one, okay. Let's take a look. So we have the radius, which is the radius of the circle. And what I do is, as I mentioned in Paint, let's just uh, do this, okay. So okay, so we always has have the first vertex of every triangle just uh, starting at zero, 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 okay. But then you want to uh, map the next point to be, uh, what I do is basically I just say the cos, the cosine of the angle, which is uh, the angle that we define here. And I say times i, which starts to zero, and I map the uh, radius. So radius times cos, sine of angles times i, and radius times sine of angle uh, times i. Because uh, cos and sine will will map magically to polar coordinates, okay? We're going to take a look to polar coordinate later, but just assume that uh, doing this will will map the, hex, the y and z to the right uh, kind of uh, position around the, the, the circle. So uh, here we I do the same thing, but instead of having a high, I say high plus one. So every time I round the circle, step around the circle, I'd go to zero, zero plus one, and do the same thing, which is cos... 
of the angle and and then I can increase the angle so if I say something like what about 150 that might probably do it probably it will okay so just to recap what we've done so far we've defined not a circle but actually a shape that register um, eight points around a circular uh, circular so circular shapes it would define by using cos and sine and register uh, an angle that that every step around the circle just just increase to eventually reach the end of two pi. So I've had eight, but now I'm gonna go to one hundred fifty, which is gonna be like very very small in, in angle incrementation. So we take two pi, which is uh, this number. And we divide it by 150, and we will have some super uh, little angle that then we could increment to register uh, our vertex and then our triangle. So if I compile, we will probably be good to go. Um, okay. And okay, now let's drag and drop it. Dun, 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 dun. We have some problem in here. What's up? Oh, I get it. Okay, <laughs> that's the problem. Um, because I was debugging earlier uh, in here, CPP. Because I was debugging, I've art coded eight, which is the number of steps divided by three, because we have three vertex per triangle. But what we want to do is actually map this uh, variable, so it's gonna actually follows how many uh, like step around circle then we make times three and it will automatically loop and register all triangles but basically that makes kind of sense because already we can see that we have a much more smoother around the circle we can also uh, what about going to you know what let's just compile to see if it works build mm -hmm. So uh, then building it mm -hmm. and drag and drop and boom, there you go. You have a circle, which makes sense. So like 150 steps around is not, if we, if we take a look to top and uh, why your frame is it, where is it defined? Oh no, I want to go front. Actually, why? front or back maybe oh yeah okay so here you see all the steps which is not like super perfect but gives a good a good uh, circle procedural mesh okay next time we're gonna take a look at how we can uh, extend it and put this property instead of having to art code uh, step around a circle I'd like to have a, a kind of fader inside it so we could uh, automatically refresh while clicking uh, buttons in here. Until next time, I wish you a good day and have fun, listen to good music, play some good games, explore, and see you next time.